Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Hey, good morning, and what is up, my buttercups? It is Amy and Jerry. Jerry, love. Mwah. What day is it today? Thursday. Thursday morning. And dude, what be the rules? Okay, Amy. Where did you get it? Where are you? See what it does. And we use our. Word. Not our. Yeah. And there is no. Word here. And no. Okay. And no. In the head. And we keep our. Have it. And our. That. Very good. Very, very good. Ugh. Of course, the bus driver is not here yet. It is currently 6.35, so hopefully she will be here soon. I need to stop the wah-wah. And uh, sometime today, I need to, like, check my uh, antifreeze. Uh, Chrissy said yesterday when we stopped over at the automotive shop that... Um, it looked like I needed some antifreeze in my car, so. Gotta stop sometime today somewhere to go get some antifreeze. And what else do we need to do today? What else is happening today? We've got Matthew coming over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think with Matthew coming over today, I'm going to make the attempt to try to get some laundry done. I don't know if I can. It's going to depend how this weather is. They're expecting some ugly rainstorms to come in. I don't do laundry when it's raining because it's dragging it to the laundry room and everything else and uh, yeah, that's not my thing. But, so we're going to see how the rest of the weekend goes because I think they said the rest of the weekend's going to be mostly nice out and I don't really want to spend my whole weekend doing laundry to be honest with you so I'd like to try to get some of the stories today at least. Um, yeah, so we're going to sit, wait for the bus and all that great stuff and uh, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Hey, what is up, Buttercups? It is Amy and Jared. Jared We are coming to you. What's today? What is today? Friday. Friday morning. Mwah. We are coming to you and we are getting our grind on today. We got the work grind. We got the school grind going on and all that great stuff. Uh, sad way to start our vlog. We did lose Clyde this morning, unfortunately. So we are now with an empty fish tank. And uh, it's kind of sad. I, I showed the fishy to Jared. I wanted to see what his reaction to it would be. And I said to him, I said, oh, I said, look, I said, Clyde went to fishy heaven. And he says, oh. And that was it. <laughs> and I said, well, do you want to say goodbye? And he's like, goodbye. <laughs> No real tears shed it or anything, so at least he didn't take it too hard. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so obviously we're going to be skipping feeding the fish this morning. we got to see how that goes. Um, yeah, so now the question is, I have a 20-gallon tank filled with about, oh, I'd say 18 gallons of water. And if we decide to do a new fish tank this weekend, if we decide to, like, re-up our fish tank again, uh, my question is, do I change the water? Do I put brand new water in it or do I leave it alone? My my fear is that if I go to buy new fish and put them in the same water, even though the water's filtered really well and everything, um, it's a 20 gallon tank and I've got a 50 gallon pump on it. So yeah, it, it's a pretty good clean tank for the most part. Um, but my concern is like if I go to put new fish in there, if Clyde passed away from like a disease or something like that, I don't want to spread that to the new fish. So that's what I try to kind of Hopefully, got to figure that one out. Um, actually, I have bottles of water. I forgot about my closet. I have five-gallon jugs of water in my closet that I can't really use because I don't have the little spigot to go with the bottle of water. So, um, I've just been kind of holding them onto them for special occasions. So, I think this might be a special occasion. I can open up one of those bottles up and just pour that in the fish tank and make life easy on myself. Um, yeah, so we got to figure out what we're going to do. And we got to figure out what kind of fish we're going to get and stuff like that. So if we decide to do fish again, I don't know. I'm still considering maybe just doing like a nice atrium or something like that. 
maybe moving on to some sort of a reptile, possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'd have to see what his reaction would be to a reptile. Like, if we got him, like, a lizard or an iguana or something like that. Um, I see the problem is I don't know much about different reptiles either, and I don't want to go and find a buying a reptile and then like killing the poor thing because I don't know how to take care of it. So, um, yeah, so we got some interesting choices to make this weekend. Also, this weekend coming, we've got Miss Emily. My girl, Emily, I'm so proud of her. She is graduating this weekend. She is graduating Westchester University this weekend. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the fun will definitely be ensuing this weekend. We're going to be doing a dinner, a celebration dinner. Um, I physically cannot go to the graduation. I really wish I could, but there's just so many people there. It's limited seating, a lot of walking, and honestly, I don't know how long it's going to take, and I don't know if Jared would be great sitting around for that. So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll probably be doing dinner and stuff like that with Miss Emily and all that, and we'll kind of go from there. So, all right, so we will see you a bit in the car. All right, so we are in the car waiting for the bus and waiting for the other gate here. So, dude, what be the rules? No Katie, where the camp fit? Where the in the fence? And we use our, Where? not our, yeah. and there is no, the and no, yeah. and no, and we keep our, and, and our, best. our best. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Loving my little man. Yep, so we are here, rock and ready to go on this Friday. We going to get this day over with, hopefully, and, uh. Then we can get into our weekend and have some fun. All right, guys. Well, uh, we are home. I got to pick up Jared from school early. Yay. So, is this what Mommy got for Mother's Day? Yeah. Yeah? See Let's down. see. Help me you open it. Let's see what, what's down. in here for Mother's Day. Oh, I love these kind of cards. I love them. Oh, he did it on the computer. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, there's a little poem in here. Let's see. I love you very much. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for loving me. And all the things. And, and your hugs and kisses. Okay. That's I love this kind of stuff. You're the best. Love, Jared. Isn't that beautiful? He does such a good job. He's a good thing. He's got better hand right now, dude. That's for sure. That's a beautiful card. I like that. I really like that. Is there anything else in here? Or is it just... Look at pretty bad how I decorated it. The butterfly. Is it just the card? Oh, there's something in here. Let's see. Coupons for coupons for oh oh look how cute this is. They make coupons. Let's see. We got coupons for walks. We got coupons for cuddles. Uh, we got I'm trying to do this. All filming it. it's not really working out that well. Coupon for hugs. This is so cute. Kisses. Uh, I can't find this stinker. All with me. Oh. Oh. What? Well, go to the bathroom. Love. Jared, oh, little happy face, oh, that is so sweet. I love it. Oh, yeah, and I love the little bag decoration he did. That's really cute. Wow, I'm very happy about that. I'm checking because last year he gave me something. They actually did a dollar store trip, and 
I didn't realize it, but there was something in the bag. And the bag was kind of put aside for a couple months. Didn't realize it. And I had like a little cute bracelet in there. I'm like, oh my God, and I didn't realize it was in there. So I always check the bags down really thoroughly just in case. So yeah, that was my Mother's Day gift. Isn't that pretty? You did a good job on that. Hey, what is up, Buttercups? It is Amy and... Jared. Jared. Mm, coming to you on... What day is it? Saturday. Saturday. That's right. We are coming to you on Saturday. We are really not doing much today. Uh, only main thing I wanted to kind of come on and say was... Big time congratulations. Uh, my girl Emily graduated today from Westchester University. And I got to see her commem commencement on the live stream, which was really cool. Because there was a lot of people that were able to go. So, uh, yeah, so that was nice. So we, were, we spent most of the day in watching the commencement and stuff. And uh, it was nice. So now we are running, going to take a run to the Waba. And uh, I don't know. Are you, you're not hungry, are you? We had a big breakfast. Mom made a big breakfast. So I made, um pancakes, handmade pancakes. I made sausage. And then little man earlier had yogurt and had a juice. So yeah, he, uh, he's been eating today, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to do the Wawa run real quick and then we're going to kind of go from there. I don't think we're much is going on today. It's been such a bad weather day. It's been raining and it's icky out, right? Yeah. Come here, boo. Get stuck in your hair. This kid, oh my goodness, the dry skin is just unreal. I don't know where it comes from. And it's not like your typical dandruff either. It's like big pieces of like skin coming off his head. It's like <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah. So we're gonna head to the Wawa. Let's see what happens from there. Hello, good evening, and what is up, buttercups? It's Amy. And little man's over there. What's your name, boo? Jerry. Love, love. And he is actually on his computer at the moment. And it is starting to rain. We actually started getting tornado warnings. So, yeah. But one good thing, my flowers and plants could use the water. So you ain't got to worry about water in them tomorrow. But yeah, we got a few little thunder boomers going on and stuff like that. You can tell the flash of lightning here and there. But it's not downpouring yet, which is good. This is the kind of rain we need to soak in the ground, not the flash flood time. So, our big thing is right now just let's hope that we do not lose electric. I do not want to lose electric. Ooh, I heard that. Yeah, so we're starting to get some thunder and lightning and. Hopefully, our electric will stay intact. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. Could be interesting night. I have a feeling. weather going on. That was really loud. It's starting to really come down. Let's just pray our electric stays intact.
so far it's mostly noise. Like we're getting rain, but it's not like heavy downpour. It's like all up there right now. Eric could care less. He's too busy playing on YouTube watching Sesame Street. <laughs> He's kind of cool and collected. I'm just going to leave him that way. Now it's really starting to come down. It's a good downpour coming. Still a lot of thunder and lightning. So. Hey guys. Yeah, so lights are still on so far, but let me tell you, it's really getting ugly out there. So, I'm probably going to close the vlog out for the evening because I have a feeling I might have to make a quick dash to do video editing if I want to post tonight. Now it's really starting to come down. You can tell a little bit here. we got the, our little River Nile going on down there. And, uh, As a family, crazy jump ladies walking in the courtyard to go get her there. In this. Umbrella, you know, she's just... That's a lot of bottles. That's why, bottle by bottle. We're doing our part. This Nick Jr. Nugget is brought to you by Breda. There she is. That's the woman the other night. Had to have the cops called on her because she decided to randomly pick up one of the neighbor's children's little trikes, like a tricycle, start just smashing up against the wall. Right. No random rhyme or reason at 3 thought like 3 30 in the morning. I heard nothing about it unironically. I, I really didn't know much about it. But yeah, the people who live in those apartments across there are the ones that have the little girl with the bike. Every time the woman walks by, the child is like terrified of this lady. She's absolutely terrified. She like runs on the house as soon as she sees her. So yeah, a lot of people are not really pleased with her presence here in the courtyard, that's for sure. So yeah. But yeah, so. Hopefully this will start calming down a little bit. Believe it or not, here in Philly, we got tornado warnings. How that's even possible, I am not even sure, to be honest with you. But, you know, it is what it is. So, on that note, guys, we're going to shut out the vlog for the night. Jared, do you want to say goodnight? Goodnight? Look, want to say goodnight? And what do we do? And we... And what do you want to do? But as the little man who said, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff, and I will be jolly. Say you're basic, say you're easy, you're on fire in the